Well, hello everyone to this talk entitled Fit, Fitness for the Whole Family. Welcome to this talk, Fitness for the Whole Family. Thanks for joining me today. Fitness is a passion of mine and family fitness is a great way to bring families together. For those of you who don't know me well, I'm Dr. Trish Murray, physician, best-selling author, and the Health Catalyst speaker. Now, besides my present specialties of osteopathic manipulative medicine and functional medicine, I have also in my earlier career been a personal trainer and a competitive bodybuilder. I've also been a high school teacher and a coach. So movement and fascial or connective tissue health are passions of mine. So exercise and movement that is fun for the whole family is one of my favorite topics to explore. Just like everything in life, the way you approach fitness is all about attitude. Whether your goal is just to spend time together, implement healthy lifestyle habits or both, be sure to frame physical pursuits as something fun and never a chore. Physical activity is just as crucial to a healthy lifestyle as healthy eating. Just as you should with food choices, be sure to apply variety, balance, and moderation to your fitness. For variety, choose different activities to move different muscle groups. Find balance in your physical activity plan based on benefits. For moderation, move enough to keep fit without overdoing it. Don't forget to encourage your kids to seek out activities based on their interests and be creative. I can't say that enough, be creative. Now let's review some of the physical activity guidelines for different age groups. So physical activity guide on, guidelines from the United States Department of Health and Human Services. Now for preschool age children, ages three through five years, the guidelines are pretty open in that Preschool age children should be physically active throughout the day to enhance growth and development every single day. But you notice that's a pretty general statement. Now, in the next age group, physical activity guidelines for children and adolescents ages six through 17 years is children and adolescents should do 60 minutes or more or more, sorry, so they should do 60 minutes or more of moderate to vigorous physical activity every single day. It's important to provide children and adolescents opportunities and encouragement to participate in physical activities that are appropriate for their age, again, that are enjoyable and that offer a great deal of variety. Now, what are the physical activity guidelines for adults? put out by the United States Department of Health and Human Services, the recommendations for adults are, adults should move more and sit less throughout every single day. Sitting, if you didn't know it, is now equated to smoking as a definitive health risk. Now, for the specific recommendations are for substantial health benefits. Adults should do at least 150 to 300 minutes. That's two hours and 30 minutes to five hours per week of moderate intensity. Or if you step it up a notch in intensity, you can do less. So, or 75 to 150 minutes, which breaks down to one hour and 15 minutes up to two hours and 30 minutes. Again, folks, this is per week, not per day or anything of vigorous intensity aerobic physical activity. Or you can do a, a, an equivalent combination of moderate and vigorous intensity aerobic exercise. Adults should also do muscle strengthening activities of moderate or high intensity and that involve all major muscle groups on two or more days per week. So again, folks, if you break this down into the hours per week and the minutes, it, it, we're talking about maybe 20 to 30 minutes a day and that's it. But you know what? 
we are not meeting the United States recommendations as probably at any age as a country. And that's a sad statement. So there are three primary types of physical activity and all three are necessary for optimal health. So let's talk about what they are. First, aerobic activity makes your heart and lungs strong, boosts your mood, and reduces the risk of certain disease, diseases such as heart attack or diabetes. Aerobic exercise gets your heart pumping and makes you breathe hard. It usually gets your whole body moving. Examples of aerobic exercise include dancing, biking, running, or fast paced walking, or obviously hiking, typically uphill. This type of activity should be happening in your life every single day. The next type of activity is muscle strengthening. Muscle strengthening activities make muscles do more work than usual, which makes them stronger. Strong mu muscles makes it easier to do daily tasks, prevents injuries, and burns more calories to help maintain weight. Examples of muscle strengthening include doing push-ups or pull-ups or squatting or climbing trees. This type of activity should be done at least three days per week. And the third type of physical activity is bone strengthening. Bone strengthening activities push on your bones to make them grow and they get stronger and help protect against osteoporosis, which is something obviously as we're getting older, we need to be concerned about. Examples include skipping, jumping rope, running, playing a sport like full court basketball or even doing aspects of gymnastics. This type of activity should be done at least three days each week as well. Now school and community sports teams are a great way to get kids active. However, this usually leaves the parents on the sidelines. And additionally, not all kids and teens enjoy organized sports. To stay fit as a family, plan unstructured activity into your family life. Things like freeze tag, playground fun, Backyard sports and impromptu dancing are just a few examples. I can remember on Thanksgiving this year, my uh, partner and I went to my son's fiance's family. So we were going to a family we weren't that familiar with. But during the afternoon, uh, my son, his fiance, myself, my partner and her father were out in the backyard throwing a football around. Um, and then we had a football and a Frisbee all going at the same time. And we were all in a circle just throwing the ball and you had to pay attention because you never knew which ball or Frisbee was coming at you. So this is unstructured family play. And what a great way to get to know people you know and, and interact with family, but also to get to know people you don't know that well and to make a connection. Make yard work a game. You can turn any mundane chore into a game of who can finish their tasks first. Cleaning the yard of leaves or shoveling the driveway is a great way to spend time outdoors while being active. Make it into a game by adding some competition to the mix. And again, of course, fun competition. Set up a scavenger hunt. This is a great way to get the kids excited about moving and they won't even realize they're getting physical activity. You can do it as a family, or you can get other families in the neighborhood involved too. Make a list of items to find or collect, pair up and see who can collect all the items the fastest. Plan a hike, go to the park, go to the beach, go rock or mineral collecting or other outdoor physical activities are a great way for the family to reconnect with nature. This is a great opportunity to explore the surroundings and learn something new. You may even want to spend some time before you leave researching information about the local trees, the flowers, the minerals, or the birds that you might see in your outdoor activity to add an educational aspect to your trip outdoors.
sign up for a local event and train together as a family. You know, 5K races can be walked if you're just getting started or if you have very young children and many races donate proceeds to deserving charities. So for older kids, a cycle race is a fantastic way to get together, but pick some sort of race. And again, you can either run it, you can walk it, you can jog it, you can bike it, but the bottom line is just do it. Training together toward a common goal provides a source of motivation and a means of bonding for the whole family. Turn Friday nights into a weekly game night or an ongoing dance party. Encourage the kids to invite friends over, take turns playing their favorite songs and get moving. If dancing isn't everyone's cup of tea, take turns as a family deciding which activity to do each week. I remember when my kids were teens, we had the Beatles, if you remember, there was Beatles Guitar Hero equipment. And we would play the instruments and act like a band and dance and sing for hours. It's now on the list of my family's fondest memories whenever we talk about, remember when we used to, and one of the top things that comes up is remember when we did um, Beatles Guitar Hero and we played for hours at a time, especially I remember one particular New Year's Eve, we played well into the night and into the new year. So things like that are absolutely a way to play together and move together. Now, did you know that according to a report from Active Healthy Kids, lifestyle patterns of kids under the age of six will end up predicting their level of health and their level of obesity later in life. So from the time we're born until we're six years old is an extremely important time for setting the patterns for the rest of our lives, folks. Parent baby exercises are a great way for parents to stay fit while also modeling healthy behavior for the little ones, whether they're your children or your grandchildren. So here are a few moves you could try. The first one is called baby lift. You could lay on the floor and hold your baby or your grandchild, your you know baby grandchild with both hands. Begin with the baby on your stomach and then push your arms up relatively quickly, but controlled, of course, lifting your baby into the air over your chest and obviously smiling and meeting eyes with them and playing. Now, but then you would then bring your both arms down slowly until your baby is close to your stomach, but maybe not quite touching. And you could do this multiple times, you know, do it multiple repetitions, as many as 10 to 15 times, as much as you feel safe and your baby is enjoying it. Another exercise is push up peekaboo. Peek we all know peekaboo, but let's add some push ups to it. So, what the way you can do this safely is, of course, get on your knees with your baby underneath you laying on the floor. So, you can both see each other and meet eyes. Now, what you're going to do with one of your hands is cover one of your eyes. And so, you're doing the peekaboo thing. So you're, so, you're blocking one of your eyes. Then you're going to lower the top half of you with your other arm down near your baby's face and surprise your baby with a peekaboo revealing your eyes. You both laugh, of course, and giggle, and then you raise yourself back up. And of course, you could be alternating hands and you could do this multiple times, maybe as many as 10 repetitions. And the third option would be something like baby weight squats. Hold your baby in your arms, hands, or in a wrap Stand with your chest held up and out, and with your legs shoulder width apart, drop your buttock back and bend your knees into a squatting position. And then of course, come back up to standing and repeat. Again, as many times as is comfortable for you, keeping you and your baby focused and is safe. Now, what about, let's talk about activities that you could consider for different age groups again, to try and meet the guidelines that we talked about earlier. So preschoolers and kindergartners, kids this age love games. They also love to mimic mom and dad and grandmom and granddad, or even their older siblings. 
And this age is so important for setting the stage for the rest of their lives. So here are some fun activities to try. Play follow the leader. Play Simon Says. Draw a maze on the driveway and see if folks can figure out how to get through it. Imitate different animal walks or animal uh, movements. Make an obstacle course. Wheel wheelbarrow or crab walk races. You can also practice yoga or balancing exercises and all sorts of other movements like we do in our Discover Health Movement membership classes. Discover Health Movement membership is an online movement program that offers three classes per week that can be done anytime from anywhere. There is a yoga class, a balance and strength class called Movement for Longevity, and a self myofascial release class, all that your kids can do along with you. Depending on your child's age and attention span, they may not make it through an entire, of course, one hour class, but who cares? Get them doing some of it. And as they age and grow, they will stick with it and understand that exercise and movement in a relaxing and organized fashion can help them, them and all of us manage our stress better. Now, one thing that is a growing concern in our society is the level of anxiety that exists in children and teens today. It is a serious and growing problem. And much of this problem is due to the lack of movement and mind quieting outlets that kids have today. So much of their time is spent on technology and not moving or interacting with their families or their friends. Make an effort to model for your children and engage them interactively in breathing and movement programs, and it will become a positive part of their lives for the rest of their lives. Discover movement will enhance your mobility, build strength, improve balance, and enable you to move with confidence and ease. To register, please visit our Discover Health online shop at members.discoverhealthfmc.com. What about school age kids? Now this group exhibits a little more coordination and typically have longer attention spans. Getting them excited about physical activities by planning adventures is the way to go. Weekend bike rides, backyard frisbee, ice skating, swimming, or rollerblade hockey. You know your child's skill level, so plan accordingly. What about the tweens and teens? Teens may be the toughest age to get excited about family time, of course, but make sure to incorporate their interests into family physical activity. Do what they wanna do, not necessarily what we always wanna do as the adults. While the goal is typically to put down the technology, this may be a good time to, you might want to use technology like high tech tools like We Fit to help integrate child's interests with a more active lifestyle. Now, if you have a gym membership, bring your old, older teens with you to participate in a class or show them how to use some of the equipment properly. Alternatively, try some at home workouts like yoga, or plan a visit to a rock climbing gym. At this age, if you, have, if you had started young with them, they will be more likely to love yoga and other movement classes and stay focused for the entire class by the time they're teens maybe. And again, if you start young enough and they see the benefits and find it fun, yoga and other movement classes could be your way to stay connected with your child as they move more and more away and towards independence. Now it's important to round out, of course, a healthy lifestyle with healthy eating. Spending time in the kitchen is another great way to instill healthy habits and enjoy time together. From helping to stir ingredients to create new recipes, there are things all age groups can help with. Try looking for healthy recipes together, then creating them. Older kids can be in charge of one dinner a week even. When they get to pick 
the recipe, they'll be more excited to get in the kitchen and even uh, eat healthier. Now, I'm gonna actually read out a, a bit of a recipe for you. It's called Energy Bites. Any Energy Bites are a simple recipe the whole family will enjoy making and eating. All you need are the following list of ingredients. One cup of old fashioned oats, two thirds of a cup of toasted shredded coconut, half a cup of creamy peanut butter, half a cup of ground flaxseed, half a cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips, and a third of a cup of honey. You can even add a, table, a tablespoon of chia seeds and maybe a teaspoon of vanilla extract. All you do is put all those ingredients together at the same time in a bowl, stir it up, mix them all together, scoop out about an inch size ball, make it into a ball, put it on a plate, chill it, and enjoy. It's just so simple and so healthy. Now, along with all the references for tonight's presentation and all my presentations, we will post this recipe and all resources in our Discover Health Facebook group tomorrow, as we do with all the resources for all of my webinars. Now, here are a few more tips to get you moving as a family. One, balance sedentary time such as reading with an activity that requires movement such as tag, jump rope, or hopscotch. Another, set aside time each day for active play together, perhaps tossing a ball, having a dance party, taking a walk after a family meal, or doing some yoga before bed. Designate an indoor and an outdoor area where your child can freely get out their wiggles. Try joining a play, a play group. Encourage children to try a new physical activity. Offer toys that encourage physical activity such as balls, kites, hula hoops, frisbees, and jump ropes. Now, we're gonna do something different in this webinar tonight. Um, at this time, I'm going to stop the presentation. I'm going to share. I'm going to um, stop the stop sharing the slides here for a moment. I'm going to spotlight Coach. I'm going to unspotlight myself. I'm going to spotlight Coach Trish. You're able to spotlight yourself, Coach. There you go. Okay. So we're gonna spotlight Coach Trish, and she and I are going to demonstrate some suggestions for you. What I want you to realize is that Coach Trish actually used to be a garden, a kindergarten teacher, and Dr. Trish, myself, used to be a high school teacher and a sports coach. So we're gonna share some suggestions for you and show you what you could be doing with either your children, your grandchildren, or even your partner or your neighbor for that matter. So I'm gonna come around and we'll share some ideas. Great. Thanks, Dr. Trish. She'll be joining me in a moment in our little studio workout space here. I was getting inspired by your slides and doing some movement while I was listening to the slides. I was doing some stretching, so that was perfect. All right, so we're gonna do a little warm up, and then we're gonna do four different fun movements that you might like to enjoy with your kids, your spouse, your grandkids, a friend, uh, whoever you want to work out with. So the first warm up we're gonna do, I'm gonna back up a little bit so you can see me. The first one is gonna be uh, called head, shoulders, knees, and toes. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna reach up and we're just gonna to touch all those parts. We're gonna do that three times. So we're gonna do head, shoulders, knees, toes. Do it one more time, head, shoulders, knees, toes. And then just like the refrain of the song, we're gonna do knees, toes twice. So we're gonna do head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. All right. Can I so, follow directions? <laughs> <laughs> so next we're gonna do a little variation of head, shoulders, knees and toes. We're gonna to hit all those areas, but in different ways. So I'm gonna start and I'm gonna pick away and then Dr. Trish is gonna to have to follow and then she'll pick away and I'll follow her. So you can create a little game of, you know, monkey see, monkey do, or I go, you go, whatever you wanna call it. So I'm gonna do head, and then nod my head. I'm gonna do shoulders, do a little shoulder roll. 
knees, I'm gonna do high knees and toes. I'm gonna do a little toe slash ankle roll. That'll be my knees and toes. So we'll go through that one more time. Head, shoulders this is a test of my memory if I can remember what I did. <laughs> knees, high knees and toes. A little balance there. All right, so your turn, you pick one. All right, I'll do something. So let's go right to left this time. Head, and let's reach. Circle oh, around, yeah, shoulders, one way or the other. And then knees, let's round one way around, go the other way. Nice. And then toes, let's go up on our toes. Oh, yeah. It's a good toe stretch. <laughs> All right, should we do that one more time? Do I remember? Side to side. All the way around. around. Go the other way. Round the knees. Round the knees. Round the knees. And then toes. And then toes. I like it. All right, so that's our little warm up. Next one we're going to do is called over under. So you can do this either in a chair or on the floor. So you're going to start on the floor. Okay, so your partner's going to get on the floor. If you don't have a partner, you can just <laughs> pretend you have a partner and do over under. Okay, so arms out like T. I'm going to go first over and second under. And I'm going to go this way. And if her arms are too high, I can just tell her to lower her arms if they need to, or to raise them higher if they can't get in there. All right, so now we're going to do the chair version. This is going to be a little bit of a workout for me as well because I'm going to have to keep my legs. Well, I'm going to go over one way and over the other way, make it really high for And I got to go under. Yep, so under. There we go. Ooh, I'm feeling the burn on my quads. This is a nice leg lift for me, too. Sweet. Under. All right, so that's over under. And you can do these as many times as you want. You can do multiple reps. I'm going to get the sweat on. Go. <laughs> get me breathing. Ooh, so really good. The next idea we're going to do, next little warm up. So, so far, we've got a good warm up. We're getting some warmth here. We're going to do some squats. So, we're going to do four different ways. We're each going to take a turn picking away. So, the first one I'm just going to do. A regular squat. Okay, let's do three of those. The second one, I'm gonna pick two in a row and then you pick two in a row. I'm gonna do kiss the chair and come back up. Really driving with my legs. I wanna really feel those quads. Three, so reps. three reps, three spots, yep. All right, now you pick two ways. Two ways, so I'm gonna go and pick something up, bring it overhead and then put it down. Right. Go, yeah, we'll put it right there. All right. Your turn. <laughs> go. So the other thing with doing this kind of I go, you go pattern is you get a minute, you know, a, a tiny bit of rest while your partner's doing it. Yeah, but not too much. Not too much. All right, so you pick your turn, pick another one. You want to pick I another? Okay. Um, let's see. What if we squat down to pick up this chair and move it over here? Yeah. And squat down for the back. Nice. Practical as well, right? Uh -huh. All right. This is a little bit of good back position, as you notice. Dr. Trish knows her stuff with the back position. It's a nice posture there. Ah, that's a good one. I like that. So all of them, you know, made us use our muscles in a slightly different way. So the last one, actually, we got two more. Uh, the next one will be sit-ups. Okay. Sit-ups. And for this, we're gonna do partner sit-ups. So you're both gonna sit down facing each other. Now, if you don't have a partner, you can hook your feet under a couch or under a bed, or you don't even need to hook your feet if you don't have to. But if you need it, your partner can step on your feet like that, or they can hold your feet while you're doing your sit-up, if that makes it easier. See, so I can hold her feet to help. Now, depending on how heavy your object is, ours is not heavy at all, you could get a little overhead workout with the upper body by having, say, a small weight or an object that's a little bit heavier. And of course, the momentum of your arms helps you go down and pull back mm -hmm. up. So yeah, this one's really fun, and you kind of forget how many you're doing when you get a partner. <laughs> <laughs> it's always nice to do exercise with a partner, because again, you don't realize how much you're working because you're having fun with someone else and you're focused on your interaction with them. Yep, so the last one, we're gonna sit back to back. So we've got all kinds of different planes of motion. We've gone down and back and 
These you can also do in a chair if you wanted to sit back back in a chair and we're just going to do a twist. So we're going to pass this object. Of course, you don't want to drop it and you don't want to go too fast. You might get a little dizzy. Or if you want a bigger challenge for your vestibular system, you could go faster. All right, now we're going to switch direction. Whoop. We're up one way. Drop it. And you might find one side is tighter than the other. Right. It's harder to go one way than the other. Yeah. All right, now we're going to go one up over there. Oh, we're red. Where is it? <laughs> All right. <laughs> so that's our little partner workout for tonight. Just a few ideas that you can play with. You can do all kinds awesome. of things. Awesome. I'll go back to the slides to finish up our show. Sounds good. All right. So hope you enjoyed that. If you've got any questions or comments or maybe different variations that you tried of any of our movements, or other suggestions for folks, feel free to put those in the comments. Thanks so much, and we'll see you later. And so let's finish up the presentation. I hope you enjoy that live demonstration with Coach Trish and I. So home lessons is another completely different idea you could consider. Scheduling lessons in your home is another way to get the whole family involved in physical activity. For example, if you have a pool, Schedule a few swim lessons. Introduce the family to yoga and other movements through, again, our Discover Health Movement membership, which is all online. Or ask a personal trainer to come over and help you create an age-appropriate obstacle course. The options are limitless. Use your imagination and be creative. It can be hard to find time for fitness in our busy schedules. However, fitness should be a priority as part of a family living a healthy lifestyle. If you make fitness a priority, your kids are more likely to do the same. Again, modeling is so important. Make it a habit to incorporate physical activity for you and your whole family every single day. Now, again, at the end, you know, tomorrow in our Discover Health Facebook group, I always ask my staff to post for you all the resources that were used to put this uh, talk together. So if ever after any of these webinars I do once a month, you're interested in getting further information and going to these links on your own, we post them for you in our Discover Health Facebook group. Now, if you are not already a member of our closed Discover Health Facebook group, all you do is when you go to Facebook, go to our Discover Health Functional Medicine Center Facebook page, that's our company page on Facebook, and you'll see a place where it talks about our Discover Health closed Facebook group and just simply ask to join. It's a very simple thing to do and we welcome everyone as long as we, you know, just vetted you and made sure obviously you're not some person trying to hack us or anything, but everyone is welcome. And um, she actually does a weekly coach's corner. She also um, does every day different, sometimes recipes and foodie Friday and multiple other days that with a focus. And so she gives you lots of coaching information and it's a place where you can communicate with us as well and ask us questions. So it's a great community to be involved in. And again, after every single webinar, that's where we post our resources. So now if anyone has any particular questions, I would ask that you post them in the chat and I'll be happy to answer them at the end of the presentation. So thank you all for taking part in fitness for the whole family. I love helping families come together and improve their health. If you have any questions or need help creating a fitness plan, let us know. We are here to help. And if you are looking for a program you can do online and include the whole family, then check out our Discover Health Movement Membership Program by going to my website. The website address is discoverhealthfmc.com. So the clinic is called, the full name of the clinic is Discover Health Functional Medicine Center. So the website is Discover Health, F is in functional, Amazon Medicine, C is in center.com. And when you get to the homepage of the website, literally just below my image uh, on the web, on the homepage is the link 
to all about the Discover Health Movement membership. So thank you so much for joining me during this webinar. I hope we've given you some good ideas to keep you moving, to involve your children, to involve your grandchildren, and to make it fun and balanced with a lot of creativity and variety. Take care, everyone.